This is going to be my two-year review on the Yamaha receiver. It's the model number RS202. This is a very entry-level receiver. Runs about $149. I believe I paid about $129 for it two years ago. I do not recommend this for like a home theater. This receiver is just basically for playing music like I have it here out in a garage or maybe a music room in your house, but definitely not a home theater receiver. So the reason I'm doing a follow-up review to this receiver is because the volume knob slips. I can't find any way to tighten it. Uh, but like I said, I probably only use this, uh, we'll say I play music on it about two hours a month. Um, but I don't turn the volume up and down a lot, uh, but the, you won't be able to see it, but this volume knob slips. It kind of clicks and then you turn it and it catches again. So I'm thinking that's probably going to break completely before too long, but that's been the only thing uh, that's happened to it since I've owned it. As far as features go, this does have Bluetooth so you can stream off of your mobile device. It has two sets of speaker outputs. You got speakers A, speakers B. Uh, you have your FM mode, you do have a memory, band button, you have around 40 presets, and then your tuning buttons. You do have front mounted bass and treble. You also have a headphone jack front mounted. And here is going to be your, your input button. Now this does come with a full function remote control that will do everything that pushing the buttons on the receiver will do. Now it's fairly large and it does have a sleep timer as well. Now as far as power, we have 100 watts times 2 and 8 ohms from 40 to 20,000 hertz at 0.2% THD. Uh, there is four stereo RCA audio inputs on the back. Uh, there is no stereo RCA output for audio dubbing. Total weight on this is about 15 pounds. And when I did my initial review of this receiver, this was my exact setup. The Akio 6 disc and the two Polk bookshelf speakers. But recently I've added a Polk Audio 10 inch subwoofer that sits right down there. Now this subwoofer is probably the number one 10 inch subwoofer on Amazon. It's the Polk Audio PSW10 and it sure does wake up the music. So I'm just going to play some quick music for you and then I'm going to put the camera on the subwoofer and show you the subwoofer movement as well. So in conclusion of this two year review, I'm still pretty happy with this receiver. And with the volume knob not working uh, quite perfectly, it could be because it's out here in the garage and it's exposed to extreme temperatures, hot and cold, uh, versus if it was kept in the house. Now, if this was to break today, I would probably go buy an Onkyo receiver, one with a sub out, uh, just so it's easier to hook up the sub. But if you're gonna look for a receiver under $150, I don't think you can go get wrong with this Yamaha receiver. I'll put links in the description below for the sub, my two bookshelves, and the receiver. I hope you guys found this video helpful and informational, and thanks for watching.